Legion Tactical Cutlery. Hey everyone, how you guys doing? It's Grugs of Legion Tactical Cutlery. Welcome back Legionnaires. Welcome back any new recruits. Really appreciate you guys checking out this video. In front of you, you see the awesome Lion Steel M7. Just had this for maybe about less than a week. And I could tell you right now, just by gripping it and handling it, seems to be a pretty nice, well-made knife, but we're gonna put it to the test. All right, Truth, before we get started with the Lion Steel M7, what is in your pocket? In front of you, you guys see the Cold Steel Bush Ranger. Love this knife for outdoors. And I've got the Work Tough Gear Puzon Bowie 7. This is riding on my hip today. Badass knife. Check out the video for that. Check out the video for the Bush Ranger. And in the center is the Lion Steel M7. Veterans and military, welcome. We appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for your service. Enjoy the video. All right, troops, let's go over some quick specs and then we can get started. Today, I'm hopefully planning to honor scabs at Choir Boys Cutlery with a Legion light up. The man is a pillar in our community. He has motivated so many people, including myself, to start a channel. I love the guy and I wanna do him right. He's always shouting me out and sometimes I always forget in the videos to shout people back out again. And um, well, you know what, not today, okay? So hopefully cross your fingers. If it's not too windy, it is a Legion light up for scabs. All right, so let's go over the, uh, the, the Lion Steel M7. It is a overall length of 12.32 inches with a blade length of 6.97 inch. Uh, blade thickness is 0.22 inch and the handle length is 5.375 inch. It is a beast made in Italy. Blade material is Bowler's Slipner. Now, I'm gonna put some, uh, some apps on the screen that you guys can uh, check out and download for either your uh, iPhone or your Google phone or whatever phone that you've got. Um, it's a database that tells you about steel. And one thing that I found out is that this Slipner steel is made by Bowler. Pretty cool. So I will leave that up on the screen for you guys and you could do some research and download it. All right, so the blade shape is a drop point satin and the blade grind is flat. Uh, handle material is micarta and the sheath is a Kydex and Cordura. Weight is 14.53 ounce and it is a design by Michele Pensato. He is an Italian designer, it seems. It is touted as a multi-purpose knife. The blade uh, width is 1.75 inch. Um, and it does come with a lanyard hole and it is full tang. Now, I'm gonna have the specs up on the screen. They'll be in the description. They will also be in the comments section. We're gonna do a quick close-up of this knife and then we will get into the mission. All right, troops, real quick. Here's that beautiful Slipner blade. Okay, flat grind. One thing uh, I noticed, there is not a sharp spine. This is very well rounded off. So what I'm gonna do is try and use this sharpening choil. This seems to be sharp. And I think that we will be successful in lighting up a ferro rod with this sharpening choil. But look how beautiful that blade is done. Fantastic. Just an amazing shape. I think a very functional shape, drop point. Um, apparently it is a full tang, so, but they have uh, a non-protruding side covered with the micarta, but a protruding side of the tang right here. So, but I'm, I'm assuming that this is all full tang. It has an option for a lanyard hole, okay? Little skull crusher maybe. Uh, you could definitely make some marks with this. Um, you can see the beautiful micarta handles. Okay, really nice, removable scales. I mean, this thing is awesome. It's made in Italy. This thing is fantastic. Let's take a quick look at the sheath. Okay, this is a mole compatible sheath. Uh, it is a pancake style sheath. Kind of wish it was a taco style, but nonetheless, a very well done sheath. Okay, listen to that. That's hard as a rock right here, man. All right, 
that's enough of that. Let's let's get started, okay? Let's start doing some chopping, some feathering. You know the mission, guys and gals. Let's get going. All right, troops. I found myself a nice little nasty piece of log. Let's give it a go. Right off the bat, the handle is extremely comfortable. Unbelievably comfortable. Plenty of space for a big hand. It's got a great feel, a great grip. It's balanced very well. It's a little front heavy, which should be good for uh, doing some light short chopping. So let's, let's see, let's see how we do. This is my first experience with Bowler Slipner, but you know what? Since it's a bowler company, I have the utmost faith. I'm gonna use all parts of the blade because I definitely wanna see how sharp this thing or this steel really is. Now this is supposedly an all round type of knife, utility, possible combat. I would take this in the combat. Um, good utility knife, camp knife, good for hiking. Um, I mean, I'm liking the handle so far, really nice. Definitely doing the job with the light chopping. Now Scabs had done a recent uh, video on a lion steel, so go check that out. And it's a pretty awesome knife. I think it was the M6. And this is my first lion steel, and I'll tell you what, it won't be my last, you know? Um, there's definitely a whole bunch of lion steel fixed blades that I want to get. So far, the chopping has been very successful. We are looking good. The knife is putting in some work. make sure I'm in camera but look how deep those cuts are going I mean just chipping away and this is a nice hard log all right we're gonna keep on going we're almost through ladies and gentlemen I am using all parts of the blade right now, doing this on purpose. There we go. There we go. Really nice. That did a fine job. All right, troops, that's the piece I just cut through, utilizing all parts of the blade. Let's do just a quick sharpness test. Should be okay. There we go. I don't know, looking good so far. I know it's early on in the testing, but no chips. I mean, everything feels okay. Looking good. All right, let's process this log. Let's do some batoning. All right, we're gonna do this the horizontal way first. This is a nice dense piece of log, so should be good. There we go, getting started. That's nice, check it out. Um, no hand shock, feels pretty good. Uh, went right through, as you can see it split. I'll tell you, I like this method. I definitely like this method.
That was easy. All right. You could see that's a dense piece of wood right there. And it went right through. No problem. All right, let's do this. Easy work, easy work. Check it out, easy work. Trying to get a good angle so we get some good feather stick pieces. The flat grind is awesome. I love, I love all kinds of grinds now, but the flat grind is definitely extremely functional. Nice, nice, very nice. All right, let's see this one. Okay, got a nice thin piece right there. Let's see if I could do better. Going through that little knot slash branch area right there. If you could see, let's see if we can go through it. Oh, that's tough. It'll be a good test on the edge. Oh, went right through. There you go, troops. Not the best feather sticking piece, but it did go right through. Let's keep going. Maybe I could do it one more time. All right. Definitely a nice blade, ladies and gentlemen. As you could see, it did the job. All right. All right, troops, real quick. Let's do a quick little test, sharpness test. I mean, so far so good. I checked the blade and I'll check it with you. Still pretty sharp, but uh, no edge damage and pretty sharp. Still sharp. Okay, so let's do some tip testing. I want to split this wood a little bit thinner, but I want to use the tip. So let's see. All right, check it out. Still needs a little bit more splitting. Let's try it over here. Should be good to go. All right. There we go. Very nice. This is a tough little knotted area over here. So you can see the knot. That'll be a good tip test. Let's see if I can get this on camera without hurting myself. Okay. Did go right through. And there we go. Very nice. All right, pretty good. Let's do another one. There's a nice thick piece right here. All right, very good. Look at the way it just split that wood. Excellent.
There we go. Very nice. Not as efficient as batoning, but to test the tip, I'm happy. There's some nice feather sticks right there. One more. Why not? Nothing like a clip point though, you know, this, uh, this drop point is excellent, don't get me wrong, but that clip point that I was testing out yesterday on the Work Tough gear, that did some serious damage. All right. Again, ladies and gentlemen, for those tuning in, this is just a tip test. And so far, Flying colors. That's a nice thick tip, you know? Let's keep going. This piece of wood is challenging. There we go. Let's just do this other side. Oops. There we go. Did you see that split? All right, very cool. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with that, that tip testing. So let's get the feather sticking. All right, Legionnaires, let's do some feather sticking. As you can see, I made some really nice manageable pieces over here for the sticks. And uh, we're gonna do some chopping also with this after we're, we're done with the feather sticking. Okay, but as you can take a look, the blade is nice and dirty. It's being used. And so far, the edge feels fine. So far, so good, which is a good sign. Um, handle is very comfortable, unbelievable. Okay, let's get this off to the side. And let's see what we could do for feather sticks. Wow, look at the curls that are at least coming off. Right now, I'm just doing some, some curls. I'm doing it very lightly. You could see that, just curling right off, nice. Well, that's a good first test, I guess. There you go. Nice. I have no doubt that this thing can feather stick. Just a matter of finding that sweet spot and then running, then running with the whole thing. Ah, I'm liking this. It's making some fine curls. All right, cool. That's one right there. Again, just an example. I am not an expert at bushcrafting whatsoever. I do enjoy it. And uh, in my opinion, I can get away with these kind of curls, you know? You go making the individual curls. There we go, nice and thin. My curls are blown away from the wind. <laughs> well, that's okay. The way these curls are coming. So this blade after all that batoning, and I understand it's an initial test, you know? I mean, a lot of hardcore people, they'll, they'll keep it for, I mean, they'll use the knife for like a month or two before they do a review. And I respect that, but these are just initial impressions, you know? giving you an idea of, of how knives uh, can function right off the bat and, uh, you know, give you a better option of choice out there, you know? And I'm so appreciative of the different models of knives that are out there that the consumer can choose, you know? There we go, look at that. All right, that's great, as you can see.
check it out let's see if I get that into the frame yep there we go very nice look at how fine that is um I would definitely say this is an excellent camp knife man wow I mean as a hiker as a bushcrafter I would probably take this uh, into the woods if this is all I had or if this is all that I was uh, saving up for you know so uh, kind of curious let's do let's do let's do this let's make individual curls there we go just got to get the right angle I'm digging it this is another good way if you guys uh, you know are a little nervous about making feather sticks then you could just make individual curls and she's digging in all right very good let's move on all right legionnaires just gonna have a little fun I want to test out the uh, front end of the blade do some chopping and uh, I don't know, for me, this is a little fun, you know? And it has a little bit of a purpose to it. So let's see. Very nice. If you don't have the baton handy, you can just do, uh, do these chops over here, you know? And the flat grind does a hell of a job. Man, there's just so many wonderful things about a knife, you know, that you gotta appreciate, you know? Um, and you really start appreciating the knife when you actually take it out into the field, whether it's, uh, you know, outdoors or a work environment, you know what I mean? It just, um, you just appreciate the knife more. So uh, just wanted to, just wanted to add that in there. And again, I just want to say, you know, thank you to all the, the vendors out there, the custom knife makers. I mean, we, we live in a world of, where, where there's a plethora of knives. There's a knife for everyone, you know, and uh, it's great. All right. Cool, guys. All right, let's uh, let's move on. All right, troops, let's test out this uh, irrigation tubing. For those of you that are new, uh, it's kind of thick. I think this is irrigation tubing for watering lawns. They just discarded it over here in the woods area, and I am using it as a resource and cleaning it up after I'm done using it. So eventually, it will be gone. And that's okay by me, but it'll, it's a good test. So I like to use the tip to get into the plastic first. Hopefully you guys could see that, you know, and then safely just tap it down a little bit until I make some kind of a cut and then there we go. Nicely done. There we go. It's cut. So it did the job. Let's see. Let's go straight down. All right. Nice and easy. Now it is thick. You can see how thick it is. So it takes just a little effort, you know, but Eventually it goes right down, nice and smooth. Okay. There we go. There we go. Probably a good idea to wear some industrial or leather gloves, just in case. Um, 
definitely could be used for work, but I think that there are better uses like outdoors for this particular knife. But uh, she's still pretty sharp. See? See the way it's just cutting off that, that plastic? Oh, making a feather stick out of the plastic. So she's sharp, and I'm gonna use the tip of the blade. There we go. So definitely doable. Would I recommend it? I don't know, that's up to the individual. Just uh, showing you what its possible capabilities are. All right, cool. All right, troops. As I said, the spine on here is very rounded, is very rounded. But we, you know what, we're gonna test it out anyway. And I definitely wanna test out this choil. So let's see, let's see. Oh, it's kind of doing it. Let's see if we can make some form of a pile. At least for the fat wood, it seems to be doing a little bit of scraping. And if it's a little fire you need, you know, it might be adequate. But so far, so good. A little bit. And you got to get the, the kind of like the sharp angles. But then, you know, you could definitely use the knife and make just little, these little tiny curls and accomplish the same thing. But I wanted to give you guys an idea, you know, of if this spine is doing it. And I mean, as you could see, it is doing it a little bit. It might be enough just to light something up, you know, that you need. Just a little bit. Let's check out this choil. Let's see. Oh, the choil is much better. Look at that. Look at that, folks. Yeah. Okay. Very good. The choil is definitely sharp and can be used. All right. So that's good. Nice little pile right here. So what I'll do now is, just to save some time, I'm going to make some, some uh, shavings and we're going to do our Legion light up honor to scabs and the Legion. All right, so I love this tool. I don't know if you guys own it or not, but it's a Smith's and it's a, a wood grater. And all you got to do is this, you know, and you'll get a little bit of fluff, which is nice. It saves time. Okay, so it's a little windy in this area. I'm going to go to the uh, second uh, Legion chopping block that I have. There is no wind over there in that area to be safe. And uh, let's get lit up. All right, troops, the moment that we've been waiting for, the Legion light up for Scabs at Choir Boys Cutlery and Outdoors. I also want to congratulate Isaac, the new backwoodsman. Dude, 1,000, awesome. Very happy for you, he's ecstatic. Anyway, let's see, uh, let's see how the spine works on this uh, M7 from Lion Steel. Then we'll try the choil, and if all else fails, I have this that we could light up. So no worry, Scab, you will be uh, honored today. All right, let's see if the spine works. Little bit, little spark. Not as efficient though. Let's see what the choil will do. Oh yeah. Choil's gonna be much better. There you go, scabs. Legion light up, baby. Now, since the wind is not so bad over here, I'm just gonna use a couple of feather sticks that I had used in the past that are really nice and dry. Okay, there we go. This is pretty exciting. You have been honored, scabs. Honored. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for making people feel good. Thank you for helping people with some mental issues like myself. I appreciate that you were listening. So, you have been properly honored, sir. Thank you from the bottom of the community's heart. All right, troops, that was a successful Legion light up. Scabs, I hope you enjoyed that. Troops, that was also for you. Um, 
and I really do appreciate you guys making it to the end of this video. This knife is badass, and let me tell you, um, I felt so comfortable with the handle of this knife that I feel like I really didn't need a lanyard on this blade. Um, it just gripped the hand so well. Uh, I'm pretty confident that you don't, you wouldn't want to, you know, have a lanyard around your 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 wrist, but. I'm gonna put one on there anyway, I didn't think about it. It's just so comfortable to handle, just so easy with the chopping. Uh, just an amazing blade. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this Slipner steel is stainless steel, so this should be easy to clean. The blade is dirty, the choil is roughed up. Um, one thing I also notice about striking a ferro rod, it kind of does screw up uh, the steel uh, of the knife a little bit, just a tad, you know, roughens it up a little bit, but maybe that's not a bad thing, you know? help out with the uh, with the scraping of the ferro rod. So you saw that we chopped that gnarly looking log. We made smaller pieces over here. We chopped into even smaller pieces for let's say a firebox stove. Um, we made individual curls. We made some uh, feather sticks over here. We were able to grate some of the Honduran fatwood from Home Depot on the choil, which worked very well. A little bit on the spine. Um, I wouldn't, I mean, personally, this is too rounded off for me to uh, ruin the spine on this with a Dremel. Uh, that's just me. Um, if it was flatter, you know, I, I would have uh, the courage to do it. But uh, the choil did great. I mean, you know, the choil didn't get in the way. It uh, definitely scraped um, the fatwood without a problem. It'd take a little bit of time to, you know, scrape a nice little pile, but all you really need is a little light up uh, to get things going. But all in all, man, I give this knife a 10. This is a fantastic knife, you know? And uh, again, I appreciate all the vendors out there, all the uh, knife creators and designers. Uh, thank you for giving us such wonderful options and choices out there. There's a knife for everyone. I don't care if it's inexpensive, budget, expensive, whatever. Um, at least there's a knife there for everyone and we should be appreciative of that. All right, troops, legionnaires, and new recruits, thank you so much. If you like this content, like, subscribe, and share this video out. Scabs, once again, thanks for everything that you do for the community. We appreciate you and uh, take care of yourselves, guys, okay? But before we go, let me know what is in your pocket. Also, uh, veterans and military, thank you for staying this long, watching the video. Uh, I want to bring awareness to everybody. Hashtag 22 a day. Hashtag 22 a day no more. There are veterans and military personnel who come out of the military and they face a lot of challenges. And unfortunately, one of these challenges is suicide. At the end of this are a few slides uh, for awareness. Um, phone numbers, uh, websites that you can contact. Also, Martin Miller is a Vietnam veteran, 66 to 69. He has been there. He has done that. He has a heartfelt message for you guys. Please read it and seek the help that you have earned and deserve. I will also put this in the description section and in the comments. Legionnaires, at the ready. Hold the line. Take care. Legionnaires! Legionnaires!